Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, have you ever thought, gee, I really like flywheelers, but I just don't like carrying those pesky magazines? Then this is the blaster for you. This is the Tomahawk 60 from Dart Zone. Let's get going. Dart Zone has been responsible for quite possibly all of my favorite releases of the last two years. Their Pro line especially has been fantastic, but really they've been building towards this for a long time. Several years ago, Dart Zone released the Magnum. Uh, now the Magnum has this goofy stock on here, which everybody promptly rips off, but this was a pretty good bang for your buck. It's a single, oh, that's right. There's a heavy spring in here. <laughs> Probably shouldn't dry fire that. The Magnum was a great drum fed blaster. It's got a single line of darts all the way around and a really, really fantastic HVZ blaster. Very reliable, performs well, and uh, it's one that I've had a lot of fun playing with, especially in casual games. After the Magnum, Dart Zone put out the Villainator, which is essentially feels like this, but the Springer version. Uh, this has got a double stack magazine with a standard circular opening. Uh, the Villainator has sort of a larger, it's an uh, ovals to accommodate the double stack. And that blaster is of course a Springer, while this one, is a flywheeler. I think where this blaster really excels is that scavenging play where you don't really carry too much on your body. You've got this blaster and then you top off your darts as you're running around picking them off the ground. I think this blaster would make an excellent choice for HVZ, especially for somebody that just wants a no, no frills loadout and wants to keep things simple. It's got a standard rev trigger, rev fire, all you want. I found it to be very reliable and it actually delivers the hits. Compared to most Hasbro products that are hitting around 70 FPS, the Tomahawk 60 is actually hitting in excess of 80 FPS. We'll put the actual 20 shot average as always up on the screen. Ergonomically, the blaster feels just fine in my larger adult hands. However, this grip up front is a little slim and I'm not really sure why. I guess it's just to keep the shape pretty normal. I would like to see this grip a little, little meatier to just kind of fill out my hands. That said, uh, it doesn't really cause me any problems using it and it's a pretty comfortable blaster. Unlike the Villainator and some of the other drum fed springers, I don't find that the drum itself gets in the way of my arm. There's enough clearance between my left arm uh, to hold this and fire. Much like the Spectrum, the blaster runs on six double A's for nine volts nominal, which is probably why it's getting a little bit higher performance than your average Strife. I think this will be a very good platform to modify. And from what I understand, the cage is very similar to the Spectrum. I am hoping to dive into this cage and modify this a little bit later. So if you'd like to see a mod guide, do let me know down in the comments because I'm trying to prioritize mod guides that people actually want to use and see. The blaster has a kind of unique profile and look. Um, it's, as a lot of the blasters have been recently, it's kind of very sci-fi looking. I'm not sure if this is intended to be a handle, but it kind of seems like this is the idea. You can hold it down here or you can bring it up and shoulder it. While we're on the subject of shouldering the blaster, it has one other very unusual trick up its sleeve, which is an end strike stock lug. This confuses me to no end because as far as I know, I thought that was something they actually had patented as far as the actual shape. So there must be something that Dart Zone knows that I don't, or they've just decided to say to heck with Hasbro, let's just put a stock point on it that people want. Uh, the Spectrum of course had its own stock lug, which was only compatible with the Spectrum. And the and the Villainator, thank you, Perry. Uh, Perry has become quite knowledgeable here on the blasters and uh, pretty huge help, Perry is being the video guy if you haven't watched this prior. But this stock for the Spectrum, it's fine, but it was too small, didn't match, and a lot of people chose to upgrade the lug to match either end strike or a buffer tube stock. So I would say on the whole, this is very welcome because a lot of nerfers are gonna have plenty of these stocks sitting around. I know I probably have a half dozen or more easily. 
not too bad. Kind of a pretty good look actually, as far as these two are go together, but kind of funny seeing the uh, Nerf Tomahawk and Dart Zone, a little confusing. So I don't know if, if uh, Dart Zone intends to actually release their own stocks that have this geometry or if they're simply making it compatible. Uh, I personally like the buffer tube stocks because they're a little more flexible, but the nice thing about an end strike lug is that uh, you don't have that extra distance, st extra piece sticking out when the stock is removed. So that makes it a little more compact. This blaster, however, is really, really not compact. It's a pretty good, chunky, beefy blaster. It's got a bit of heft to it. It's definitely not something I would, um, I wouldn't carry much else with my loadout if I was running this blaster. Uh, we got the chance to use this blaster at a game up at Captain Xavier's, and it is very good for CQB. It's small enough that you can get around corners. You've got a good ammo capacity for a shorter game variety where I didn't even feel like I needed to reload very often. It's also worth mentioning the darts that come with this are something Perry liked to call the watermelon darts. And I think that's pretty apt, uh, very good description. Uh, they've got a little uh, sort of triangle pattern of two partial triangles and, and two full triangles. Triangles, those are not triangles, those are diamonds. Well, there's two triangles and two diamonds. Anyway, uh, the darts, like the rest of Dart Zone's offering, seem very, very good. I, I can't believe how many different dart types Dart Zone has come up with in just two years. They seem to be just churning out all the different varieties, but I do really like these ones uh, specifically. One gripe I do have with this blaster is loading. While it is a load on the fly blaster, load while even firing or in between shots, it's a little bit tricky to load. You have to stick one end of the dart in first and then kind of bend force the dart in a little bit. And the thing I don't love about that is that, well, A, getting them out is really rough to do without just bending the dart in half, but uh, getting them in even does require a small amount of, of either very, very careful loading or you have to bend a, a tiny bit as you're going. Here you can see one spot here where I've already got one loaded in and I'm gonna double stack and you really do have to, there, there's just no way getting around it when you're loading that second dart. You have to either compress it, somehow or another you're gonna bend that dart and I can't help but think that is ultimately going to impact accuracy. Though I think the nature of this blaster, you're probably looking at more like an HVZ or casual play, so accuracy might not be that important. Overall, I think this is a very solid offering, especially to uh, a newer nerfer or someone that just wants a simple loadout for HVZ, or just kids that want to play around their house because uh, it performs better than almost all, well, it performs better than all stock Hasbro blasters. It comes with more ammo and it's $30. So. For the price of a Strife with a six round magazine that the Strife comes with and the six darts, you get this whole thing and 60 rounds. I mean, it, value proposition is there for sure. And I think it's a pretty solid indication of the leader in the blaster industry going forward. I'm gonna give this four out of five stars. It's got some little quirks with the loading and a bit bulky, but overall it is really solid. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at this blaster. Do let me know whether you'd like to see a mod guide on this blaster specifically. We'll get it on our list and try to prioritize it depending on how many people comment. Until next time, I'm out of darts. What? 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 It's good. Oh. Did you get it? Oh. Damn! Yay! I nearly got him. Oh. You gave <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Buzzer beater. Woo, nice. <laughs>